My record is titled A Year Without Rain because it's one of my favorite songs on my album. And it was the first song that I recorded to put on the second record. And I feel like that was the beginning of of what I wanted my entire record to sound like. Very, um, very beautiful. Lyrics have a meaning and the melody is very strong. My influences, especially with this record, would be Cheryl Cole from the UK um, and uh, Katy Perry. She is a big influence in the music world for me. Um, I think that the way that they carry themselves and I think their music styles were like very inspiring for me. So I kind of made my own version of, of that and found myself in, in a way of embracing their qualities. It's so funny, I remember when my label emailed me and they said Naturally is number one on Billboard's club mix and I was like, cool, not even old enough to get in a club but it's exactly. number one. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, I was just going to say, I mean that, that's my next question is, I mean how does that make you feel? It you, makes, you can't even get in. It makes me feel really good and I hope people are fist pumping and I hope they are so getting their groove on because that was my whole goal. So, like Jersey Shore? Jersey Shore. Is that is that your show? Do you like I it? love Jersey you really? Shore. <laughs> you know, it, it's fine. I mean, there's a lot of people here also say that they, uh, you know, that the National Enquirer is like a, you know, their dessert. Yes, so. I can. Yes, that's Jersey Shore is my <laughs> guilty pleasure. Who's your favorite on it? Um, I like, I like um, Jay Wow. Really? I like Jay Wow and Vinny. They're my favorites. I would have, I would have pegged you for a Snooki. Really? Yeah. I like her, but I, I like, I like Jay Wow. She's <laughs> a little bit more aggressive. I like it. That is funny, Vinny. You know what? Um, actually, I actually have something here. Um, he said that he actually wanted to meet you at the VMA. Is oh. that funny? Yes. It, did he get a chance to? No, I didn't actually. <laughs> I didn't actually meet him. It was so funny because they were like, "Yeah," I said, "If, if you're 18," I was like, "Oh, I couldn't." I'm such a huge fan, and I do have. I think it's awesome, but there's no way <laughs> my dad would. No, my mom would kill me, and then my dad would kill Vinny. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> Also at the VMAs, we saw uh, lots of pictures of you, lots of fun pictures, uh, you and, and, and the Beeb. Yes. First time meeting? No. Really? Oh, no, no, no. I've known him for a while. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember we went to um, Haunted Houses together, and it was before one time crossed over from Canada, and nobody knew him. And we were going to try to go back to the Haunted Houses again, and I said, no, I'm not going with you. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way. I'd never get anywhere. People would be like, no, I can't do it. The, the, the girls are really loud. I couldn't do it. Now, now the fact that both you and him, both uh -huh. are musical artists, ever talk about uh, collaborating? No, I think Justin has a lot of um, collaborations. He has a lot of people that he has... Um, that he does musically, and I never would want to do anything to our friendship, so I don't know about that. <laughs> um, the craziest fan experience that you've ever had? I've been proposed to. Um, today? No, not today. I had someone tattoo my signature on their wrist, which was crazy. Um, and then it was really pretty though, which was interesting. <laughs> And then I had someone while I was using the restroom poke their head underneath and ask for an autograph. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, hello, how are you? <laughs> it was a little kid, so I kind of was okay with it, but still I was like, oh my gosh, this is really uncomfortable. But it was very sweet. Did you sign it? I did, yes. After I was like, can you, can you wait till I wipe? <laughs>